So boys, it turns out Spider-Gwen might be the real deal. Put your fears about Luna aside and take a good look at this character because she may be the speed hero that you've been waiting for. Well, at least the speed female hero, human, that you've been waiting for. Not, not the Gamora, not the Ant-Man, not the Spider-Man, that type of thing. Uh, Spider-Gwen is scoring massively high in ABX or ABL, which should also translate over to ABX if she doesn't have the Shadow Shell curse. And so what we're gonna do today is take her in, into it and then take her for a spin at level 80. I'm not gonna tier four her just yet. I know I know that's what you're hoping for, but it's not gonna happen just yet. I wanna see how close she can get to a tier four Black Widow, which is currently what I have in the speed female hero category, um, and whether or not she can make some noise there. So we're gonna be updating her build. Before we go into it uh, with a mighty rage, I'm gonna just once again go over her rotation because I still see a lot of people confused about this. However, I also wanted to add a little update. Uh, you don't have to delay cancel four. I made a mistake in my in my initial video, my initial impressions video. I said that you delay four until more or less until she punches the ground. You don't have to do that. You can do that, but you 100% don't have to. As you can see here, we get 272 hits on three targets uh, if we do it with the, de the delay. 272, remember that number. Now with no delay, just three, four, five, right away, you can see Miles still comes down. We still get the webbing, we still get the lightning, and we still get, hey, we get 273 this time. There's a little bit of range in how many of the targets get hit by all of Miles' attacks. But uh, yeah, you can, there you go. You can, actually, that time, he didn't come down at all. It's it's the very slightest of a delay. It, there's basically no delay. You uh, you just go ahead and, and press it. Just press, press, press. Uh, really, just just the time it takes your your, your finger to, to lift up. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you uh, real time here. One, two, three. You can see that's how fast I I canceled it, um, and you get the full you get the full damage. So extremely proc friendly, outrageously proc friendly. And of course, it, when you have her awakening up, it's just a six delay, right? You wait for them to land, and then you three, four, five, and then you pop off here again. I was a little bit fast on the um, on the delay here. I'm gonna delay a little bit longer. Three, four, five, and there you go. There's Miles. There's the explosions. You got to see Miles, and you got to see the explosions. There you go. And then you get an extra. You get about a hundred hit. You get eighty to a hundred hits extra. So yeah, extremely proc friendly, fantastic character, super strong. As we covered in the in the Giga Guide, I think I called it or Giga Ranking, she has access to the most number of stages. So for whatever that's worth to you, she's available for thirty-five stages of Null and Mephisto. She's available for 20 stages of Ultron, Gore, and Jean, and she's available right now for 15 stages of Kang, and that's actually meaningful. There are very few characters that are available for more than 15 stages of Kang. As you can see here, most of these are three or two. We do get a couple here like Namor and Magneto that are available for five and four, but everyone else is three or less, and you actually have two donuts. Venom and Adam Warlock are actually zero times featured for Kang. So Kang's a tricky one. Kang's a bit of a sticky a sticky fella. So yeah, immense value. Immense value. Not trying to FOMO you in to uh, to tier 4ing her, but uh, certainly immense value um, at uh, a tier uh, tier 3 or sorry, transcended uh, level 80. I would say at minimum you want to take her to level 80 and then uh, hey, let's take her for a spin. So we're first going to jump into Alliance Battle Legend. I know this is not everybody's favorite game mode, but I wanted to see how she does here. And I wanted to uh, to take a look at what this... Wow, that's a lot of damage. And you can use the two to get away. And because those long iframes are there, she basically does not take any damage, right, from those hits. Look at that. Use the two to eject there, and you're sitting pretty. Nice, nice burst damage. Wow, 1.1 million off the rip here. Very nice. She has the shock, so she's going to activate right away. Nice. Very nice there. Okay. All right, let's see. We're going to see what the range on her skills looks like. Hey, she's got decent range. And I did not have to reposition uh, to go from four to five uh, to start the rotation uh, against Surtur. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. All right, you got to consider that uh, for these characters that, uh, you know, we're a little bit... A little bit shy on the beginning of the rotation, but otherwise, this is really nice. Our enrage proc is a little uh, screwed up. The timing on the enrage proc is certainly screwed up. And, oh, but hey, no damage there. Nice. Okay, we're going to collect this. We're going to pop this. 
with the explosions, get everything going. Quite a few players have stressed uh, the possibility that her um, f uh, awakening skill is bugged because the damage is kind of shit. You basically can't notice the difference. We're going to inject here. We did take a little bit of damage, but it's okay. Um, you can't really notice the damage between her regular rotation and her awakened rotation, and that's honestly p possible. Four, four million is legit what I'm getting with uh, with Black Widow. This is actually kind of scary. She might be as good at 80 as Black Widow is at tier 4. That's kind of sad. <laughs> That's sad for Widow. Like, this is kind of the kiss of death for Widow. Uh, particularly for PvE. I don't think there's any question in my mind for PvE uh, why you would tier 4 Widow anymore. For PvP, it's, it's sort of a different story. There's obviously the possibility if you really like Widow's PvP style. She's got that auto-dodge thing, you know. And she also, remember, Black Widow has the, the Spider-Man artifact, right? A lot of people forget about that. She's got the, she's got the Giga Dodge artifact. So that's, uh, that's certainly worth something to people. I kind of wish the fifth skill, the second skill had um, done damage to that dude, that one guy. So we could have gotten an extra spawn of, uh, of mobs here. I'm not the best color commentator when it comes to this game mode. Um, I never really liked ABX and ABL. I've always played them to be competitive because it's fun and, you know, it's, it brings your lines closer together. But, uh, yeah, never really been my forte. So apologies if my commentary is kind of dry. I'm kind of just blown away by the fact that the score is even close. Like, I kind of just want a refund on my uh, my Tier 4 Black Widow here. The the score is close, and uh, and that's sad. I mean, it may also be an indictment of how bad I am with Black Widow. I'm, sur I'm sure some players will find that... Uh, that quite amusing but man the aoe is so nice dude the aoe is so nice on the five and we're gonna get man almost seven million that's fucking crazy like just for the record guys i think i cap out i cap out at about seven five for black widow i, I like i know other players can do better right i know there are other players who can score better by the way this is a black widow team um but i i can't get better than like eight than seven five with black widow so i'm within She's like 700,000 points uh, away from Black Widow. And that's tier 4 Black Widow with a Mighty Rage with 11 Odin's Blessings. Oh, buddy. As soon as there's an Odin's Blessing discount, as soon as there's a, an unequipped discount, I'm ripping I'm ripping at least these bad boys off. I got to rip the strikes off, bro. This is this is kind of tragic, man. But yeah, remember, guys, she has the, uh, the Giga Dodge. She's got the Giga Dodge. So yeah. Converting your black if you got a tier 4 black widow, I strongly advise you to consider converting her to PvP. You want to probably go for a mighty greed to make her like an ambush queen. Um, and I'm probably gonna be testing her out in other world battle uh, in, in the next week or something like that when the discount comes up. But yeah, it looks like this is the kiss of death. Uh, yeah. So you know, I know that uh, Black Widow hasn't been the best for for ABL for a while, right? We had Shadow Shell come and replace her in Shadow Shell. I think uh, really good players can score about 8.5 to 9 million. And then I think there are some god tier players who can cap or get a little bit over the cap now because the cap used to be 10 million. Um, but I think you're, you're sort of, you're aiming for 8 to 9 million with Shadow Shell realistically. Um, and it appears that Gwen can do at least 9 million or, or 9.5 million. So it seems like Gwen is even better than Shadow Shell. Obviously, I can't show you that comparison directly in the video. I can only show you guys screenshots or something like that if I had them. But uh, But yeah. To keep that in mind for any of you who have Shadow Shell, it seems like Spider Gwen is an upgrade over Shadow Shell because she has all of the same benefits of Shadow Shell, plus she has a better ABL score, plus she has access to leadership, which just makes her de facto better um, because she's also not only able to take advantage of the White Fox buff, but she's also able to be available for more World Boss Legend stages than Shadow Shell. So Spider Gwen is not only replacing Black Widow, she's replacing Shadow Shell. This is massive and remember now the only reason why she doesn't replace gamora is because gamora is an alien and because she has weapon master otherwise she'd be crushing gamora too last test here this might be a little ambitious but i wanted to see if like miles she can do stage 29 of kang so we're going to test this out here and see what the damage looks like and if she can do it holy crap if that's the damage on the rotation oh my goodness ladies and gentlemen we may be in for uh, an absolute treat here. Her second skill does some pretty good damage. What the hell? Her second skill hits kind of hard, bro. Don't sleep on the second skill, boys. 
Don't sleep on the second skill. Boom. Boom. And then pop the two. Hey, the two does like close to half a bar of damage, bro. Don't sleep, brother. Don't sleep. Yeah, I don't know, guys. The awakening skill seems to do pretty good damage for me. Y'all might not be uh, seeing what I'm seeing, though. Yo, if she can do this stage, this is going to be tough, I think, judging by the time. Actually, maybe not tough. <laughs> this is crazy, dude. What a great, what a, what a show, man. What a show from Gwen and, uh, and Miles, man. Pop the co-op skill to dodge the blow up, the explosion. Let's get this going here. Boom, one, two, three, four. Hey, let's go. She can do it, boys. She can do it. <laughs> uh -huh. She's so cracked, bro. She's so cracked. Spider-Verse is back in a big way. Spider-Verse is back. Yup, you definitely uh, you definitely got to get on this train, boys. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, you got to watch out with the fifth skill, eh? Can't get too cheeky. Can't get too cheeky. Can't get too cheeky. Also have to remember that for these attacks, you cannot use uh, movement abilities like the second skill, because then you'll move out of the little slice of, of pie that he uses to, to you know, like there's a, the, he covers most of the arena in attacks, and there's just a little slice out of the pie that uh, is is not uh, used, and you have to uh, right here. You got to you got to dodge that. So you got to be careful. You can't really pop the second skill, or otherwise you'll swing into uh, into the range, and you'll probably kill yourself. That shit does massive damage. I'm gonna wait for him to come over here before we start popping this. Pop, lock, and drop it. One, two, three bars. Okay, okay, not bad. Three and a half. Not bad. And do you guys notice how high my HP has been this whole time? Yeah, this is this is nice, boys. I gotta say, this is pretty nice. Like as as good as Thor is. He doesn't have a lot of, he doesn't have any guaranteed dodge, right? So his HP is yo-yoing during this fight, right? I don't mean to, to put the hater rate on, on Thor here, but um, yeah, her HP is solid, bro. Her HP is solid. I'm just going to pop the Awakening because I just want to make sure that we get through the fight or get as close to finishing the fight as possible. That wasn't the best use of my damage as far as like efficiency goes, but that's okay. I, I, I still think she can do it. It's going to be close, but I still think she can do it. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's tough. Less than a bar. That's about a bar. Let me do this little slam jam move here. Come on. We can start that rotation from pretty far away, though, eh? Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. You don't have to be right up in his face. All right, we're going to get the six skill going here. Bada bing, bada boom. One, two, three. Yeah, I, th I think you notice it on higher stages that the... The awakening skill is definitely doing something. It's not just standing there and doing nothing. Oh yeah, Kangarang. Ooh, okay, she tanked that though. Oh, he's gonna dash over there, bro. Her AOE so good, man. Her AOE so good. I gotta say, boys, the AOE is on point. It's so nice, man. Oh shit, emergency. We're gonna have to pop this. Pop this, pop this, and then go off. Yo. Yeah, this is going to be tight, but uh, maybe we can get it. Let's see. Oh, we're only at 10 bars. I thought we were at 9. Shit. Uh, yeah. He gets a lot of damage reduction. Uh, okay. Oh, we have to get out of here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, fudge. We died. That was really unfortunate. Damn, that was just unlucky. I just got unlucky there. Uh, the, the two purple attacks overlapped. The one from the Kang clone and the one from Kang. But holy shit, she can do this stage. Wow. And that's what, like, keep in mind, guys, that's with a rage, right? With ha Which has less synergy with Pierce than a judgment. So she's able to do that stage. Now, of course, Miles did it a lot faster. Miles had like 90 seconds left. And we had about, we had about a minute left with eight bars. So obviously, Miles is doing it faster than she is. And Miles is able to leverage two, uh, you know, he's able to leverage kind of a better team up than she is because he has the 70% self lead, whereas she has to use the 40% lead from Spider Woman. But, uh, but damn, man, damn, that was a mighty, that was a mighty judgment, um, Miles. She's, she's amazing, man. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I just wanted to make this video to showcase this for you guys. 
and uh, basically show you the new Speed Queen, uh, I guess, until Luna. Who knows? Anyways, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of Spider-Gwen. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.